Choosing tires and wheels was the most important and difficult decision I had to make on this Jeep build. Welcome to the channel. I installed pizza cutter tires and steel wheels on my Jeep Wrangler. In this video, I discuss why I bought new tires for my Jeep, how I arrived at my tire decision that was pretty difficult, and why pizza cutters or skinny tires are the right choice for my Jeep. This video isn't influenced by any sponsors. It's only influenced by all the research I did on my own. If that ever changes, I'll note it in the description to the video. I will note in the description some of the resources I found most valuable in my research. Again, not sponsored by any of them either. In the first place, what inspired me to buy new tires for my Wrangler? Well, I had the 2-inch Mopar lift kit installed on the Willys EcoDiesel. Suddenly, I had lots more clearance in the wheel wells, and I knew a larger tire would give us more confidence and capability on the trail. So, I went shopping for new tires. Three reasons choosing wheels and tires was so difficult for me. First, there's almost an endless combination of wheels and tires to choose from. Second, I didn't know a lot about wheels and tires. Wheel offset, backspacing, spacers, steel or aluminum, wider skinny tires, all these things were unfamiliar to me. The third reason is, tires are expensive, especially a quality tire. And the bigger the tire you're buying, the more expensive it is. You make a bad tire decision, you might have to live with it for a long while. And that tire may not even fit your car just the way you want it to. How did I narrow down my tire choices? By figuring out exactly what my Jeep is used for. In my case, my Jeep's a daily driver and an overlanding vehicle. I also tow an off-road trailer. We rack up a lot of highway miles to get to our camping destinations, and I wanted an aggressive off-road tire that would get good mileage. Eagle Diesel gets very good mileage, and I didn't want to lose that. To make my tire choice simpler, or more complicated depending on how you look at it, I wanted to use the same 17 by 7.5 inch by four and a half inch offset rims that came on the Jeep Wrangler stock. I figured that if I used the same size rims, I'd have a lot better chance of finding tires of fit that didn't rub or require any modifications. What I came up with after weeks of research was a pizza cutter or a tall skinny tire, specifically the Toyo Open Country Mud Terrain size 285-7517, a C-load rated tire made in the USA. These Toyos were the tallest, best quality mud terrain pizza cutter tires I could find that could be mounted on a 7.5 inch rim. The Toyo website says they're 34.1 inches tall, but by the time they're mounted on the Jeep, they're about 33.5. That's still 2.5 inches taller than the stock tires that came on the Willys Wrangler. The combination of the lift kit and the taller tires makes my Jeep three to three and a half inches taller overall. If you're finding the video interesting or useful, please hit that subscribe button, like, and leave some comments. The stock Firestone tires that came on the Jeep pictured here are about eight and a half inches wide. The new Toyos are about nine inches wide. A skinny tire will grip better because it focuses the weight of the vehicle into a smaller contact patch. There's more PSI pushing down, helping the tires grip. A wider tire tends to float over mud and obstacles, great in sand, but not so much on rocks and gravel. Another good thing about pizza cutters is these skinny tires also don't poke outside the fenders. In wet and muddy conditions, the sides of the Jeep should end up with much less mud and debris caked onto the side of it. These Toyo Open Country Mud Terrains in a 285-7517 size are available in a C or an E load rating. That's another reason I chose them. The Wrangler came from the factory with a C rated mud terrain. A C rated tire will work just fine for my Jeep and provide a ride much less harsh than an E-load rated tire with made with more plies. When it comes to airing down 
An E-rated tire would have to be a 10 to 12 PSI for good performance, given the weight of my Jeep. There would also be a greater chance of it coming off the rim. These C-rated Toyos should work great at 18 PSI off-road with less chance of the bead popping off. Having pizza cutters will also help you get better mileage. So far my mileage hasn't gone down with the pizza cutters. This number will actually go up from 22.5 to 23 or more when I take a longer drive. When you're overlanding, great fuel mileage is a huge bonus. Tire pressure can be hit or miss when you add bigger tires to a vehicle. Since the Toyos are a C-rated tire like the stock Firestones that were on it before, I stuck with a 37 PSI that's listed on the sticker inside the door. So far, I haven't noticed any unusual wear. Eventually, I'll chalk test them just to make sure I do have the correct tire pressure in these tires. For those that are interested, the steel wheels on the Jeep Wrangler are actually a Jeep Gladiator spare wheel. The Jeep Gladiator is a steel spare wheel and I was able to get them at a local Jeep dealer. Uh, there will be an upcoming video just based on the steelies that I put on the Jeep and how I got them uh, to look the way they do. Uh, it should be a pretty interesting video if you uh, like steelies on, on Jeeps. Well, thanks for watching the video this far, and I hope you enjoyed it and found some value. Please hit the subscribe button, like, and please leave some comments about what you think of Steely's and Pizza Cutters. See you on the next one.